Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my driveway. Welcome to my never-ending plastic nightmare. Yes, my 1998 C5 Corvette has more issues. Imagine that. If, it seems like if there ever was an issue that C5s are prone to, this C5 has that issue, and this is the latest one. The infamous remove key and wait 10 seconds problem. This almost left me stranded twice, and it is known for actually leaving you stranded without simply starting back up when you remove the key. Uh, it can be caused by a lot of things, but it's not worth figuring out what because the fix seems to always be the same and it is the LMC5 steering lock module. This disables the uh, steering lock that these cars have, which is an electric solenoid that locks the steering wheel. Most cars have a pin connected to the ignition, but since the ignition is not on the steering column in these cars, they went with this electric solution instead. And it's terrible because if there's anything wrong anywhere, when the solenoid, the wiring, the BCM, the lock cylinder, it, it messes up. And also the solenoid can fail and leave your steering wheel locked or the software won't properly unlock it and then you're stranded with your wheel stuck in a specific position. Uh, what's real fun is that when this failure mode happens, the car will run perfectly and you can drive it, but only up to two or three miles an hour and then it shuts off. So when this first happened to me, I thought I was just stalling the car. So. The LMC5 module, link in the description. You can get it off of Amazon. This is for 97 to 04 Corvettes with a manual transmission, 97 to 2000 with an auto, and 97 to 2004 European exports. So if you're a European who for some reason bought one of these instead of a TVR, what is wrong with you? But also this is the fix for you. Let's hope it's easy because my BMW is still at the shop. It's, it's, it's a whole thing uh, and I need this fixed today. So hopefully this is easy. But first let's literally get into the package here. Uh, compliance parts, LMC5. I, I kind of like this sort of thing that was very clearly made by a small uh, domestic company. Have questions? Need assistance? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Ooh, instructions. Ooh, very comprehensive instructions, judging by the thickness. Always judge things by the thickness. Okay, so this is, uh, this is interrupting some sort of data wire to the BCM. Oh, wow. Hey, these are, these are pretty good instructions. The thickness did not lie. We've got pictures and everything. Oh my gosh. Boy. Dad's, uh, Dad's laser printer sure got to work out with this. An adorable little Allen key. Uh, looks like some vacuum caps and some zip ties. And the module itself with another vacuum cap. And what looks like a connector piece. Oh, and a nut. Oh, I recognize this nut. That is what I uh, grounded my uh, dash cam to. Oh, that's cute. It's a little suppository looking dude. It even has... A minimalist version of the instructions on the device itself. I wonder what's in there. Genuinely. Uh, these are some really goofy cursed looking uh, pen receivers. I don't like that at all. Okay, so I was having a poke around in the footwell to get uh, an idea what I'm doing. And you guys want to see something that's really neat? Really cool. Uh, this right here uh, yeah, that's an LMC5 module. Someone already installed one. And, um, yeah, here we are. Now, interestingly, uh, this brown wire is not hooked up. And it actually says in the instruction manual that if you continue to have issues after installing the LMC5, install this brown wire. So, just because this one's brand new, I'm going to take that one out and install this one and do the brown wire mod, uh, just to eliminate the possibility of something being wrong with that one, or maybe it's the brown wire. There we go. That's our BCM. And take these grounds off. Yeah, see, that th this is what hindered me during the dash cam installation was a wire that, or a uh, 
this this setup here, which is only there if you have an LMC5 installed. So if I had known any better, it would have been very obvious. There we go. This looks annoying to get into. There's one Torx holding this whole thing together and the rest is just bent up aluminum. I wanted to look in here, see if I saw any corrosion because this is a flood car. Uh, the pins all look good though, so I don't think we have anything to worry about. Part numbers in case I need to reference them later. And apparently this tiny little adorable Allen key, which is completely unmodified, is actually the removal tool. And I did disconnect the battery, uh, which was its own super fun little side quest because the uh, side post battery bolt just immediately dove down into the car underneath the uh, battery box. There we go. Much screaming and gnashing of teeth later. Orange wire, ready to go in. Oh shit. There we go, and purple wire. Does help if you orient them the right way. Okay, so that's orange and purple on the new one. Put this back in, there we go. I've just noticed something. Up here under the dash, here on the left, there is a connector, and there is this connector. Orange, orange, green, and white. That is the steering lock relay. If you have that, further confirmation that I will probably need the brown wire mod. So, let us continue. Let's finish getting the old one out of here, so that would be just the green wire, which is... Wow, enthusiastic. Green wire, out. Replace with brown wire. There we go. And this guy gets capped off, just like that. Hang on, what's the orange one? Why is there an orange one? Oh, that's the old LMC. Oh, did I really just do that? <laughs> I plugged in the wrong LMC's wire. Okay, cool, so let's just pop that back out. Get you out of here to avoid further confusion. Put the correct LMC's brown wire in, you know, like a sane person would do. And then the comb. Alright, now for a simple procedure, you'll feel a bit of a tugging sensation. Alright, there we go. And then there's two small... Two. Where, where'd the second go? Oh, come on, how do I manage this? Two small black caps to go over those wires. Okay, it's done. That's everything. Now, the BCM goes back in. One, and uh, two, and uh, three, and uh, ground wire. Shooter love GM's quick disconnect modules here. Just smack this thing back into place. Batteries in. Let's see what happens. Key in. I think it, it's best if you just kind of let it marinate for a second. Change oil notification, door ajar. 
but nothing about removing the key. I'm just gonna cycle the key again. Okay. It's upset about a tire pressure for some reason. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it always gets messed up with those when it's uh, been without power for a sec, but. Clearing error codes truly is the Chevrolet experience, but no errors about pulling the key for 10 seconds. So I think we might have won. Now it's time to go clean this thing for cars and coffee. Because, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but it is filthy. I've been driving the car for a few weeks and I've had absolutely no problem. So it appears that the brown wire mod is really all that it needed. And now there's really just one thing left to do. 